Hi pals, my name is Mal, or you can call me Milk, and as you can see, we are jumping right into this build. So, this video is going to be a cottagecore village decoration build area. Um, first, we're going to start off on this little spot here. This is not a part of the cottagecore build, but I did it in this video and thought I would add it in. All I do is really add a little cliff to this. So, let's start jumping into the speed build. As you can see behind this little cliff area, I do have my plant shop, which if you have not seen it, I do have a video on me making that. I believe it's also a speed build, so if you want to check that out after this video, you can go right ahead. So I do keep this little area rather simple because obviously it's not what I was going to make a video about, but I was here and I saw it was really empty and I just figured I'd throw a cliff there. So this is pretty much all that I do for this area. I think I add another little custom design on the ground here and I have a little clip here to show the final product of this little spot. Now we are obviously getting started on the little cottage core neighborhood. As you can see, everything that I have here already, I had just already had built up over time, um, place things down over time. So I'm kind of cleaning up some of that stuff. For this section here, I wanted to kind of move the little lake that's here over because right behind here is the secret beach and I wanted like a clear obvious path that goes down to it and leads to it um, just to make it a little easier to access because right now there's just as you can see cliffs just smack up against it and you have to use the ladder so I figured I would put one little set of steps here leading down to that. So I paused the video right here to kind of give you a context of where everyone is. So this house up here is Fauna, and then Eric, Maple, and Whitney. Whitney's house is not there at the moment, but I do move it later. Just to paint the picture a little bit so you can imagine who's living here. I don't know if I'm going to keep Whitney. She wouldn't... S I wouldn't say she's necessarily cottagecore. However, she just works for the time being until I get rid of her and find someone else, or I just end up changing the outside of her house. For this section over here, I was struggling a little bit on what I wanted to make it exactly. I was thinking maybe just fill it completely up with trees to really give it that foresty cottage quarry vibe. But I did want to keep a good bit of the water feature. So I end up just making another little waterfall down the back side of this, especially since I took so much off of it on the side to add the staircase. So I went with this little waterfall down the back little vibe going on and then that also kind of took up some space so I didn't have to think so much about what I wanted to put over here. So I know a lot of people like to see what was inside the balloons. This one happened to be a record box. I don't know if you care, I just know a lot of times when I'm watching YouTubers and they catch a balloon and don't show what it is, I kind of, I don't know, I'm just curious and nosy, so I want to know what's in them. Um, so I thought maybe you guys did too. So 
So of course I break my shovel. I end up going to the nooks and selling some of that stuff, including that record box that I caught because I did not need it. And I do end up buying this little bike here in the back and place it inside the build, which you'll see in just a little bit. Also, I want you to take note of this traveler's backpack. Just tuck it into your brain because it'll come back in a little bit with some issues. I go back to run up to the spot I'm working on and I run into a party. I don't know what they're all doing here. I've never seen them all in like one spot just walking around at once. I, I don't know if that's weird, if it's just me. I thought it was a little funny and it looked like a party. So just a little warning, I do have a lot of jumps coming up in the scenes, but don't worry, I'll talk you through them um, so they make sense a little bit. So one's coming up right here, there you go, you can see that I had pl planted a whole bunch of cedar trees in the back there. I did not include that because it was a lot of me just digging, didn't like where I put it, moving the hole, digging, moving the hole. Um, but anyways, oh, uh, here we are. I thought that this was gonna just sit on the ground. I was so upset. I was like getting that backpack from before. Remember I told you to remember? And I was like, this is going to look so cute. It matches the vibe perfectly. Just sitting on the ground next to the campfire. But no, it's got to be sitting on that darn model stand thing. Um, anyways, so for the vibe that I was going for back here is like very secluded little camp fire area where you can just sit down read a book you can see I got the book on the ground and just be surrounded by trees so as I was running down here to um, collect some items look at the beach I see something very peculiar I see just this whatever this is help me and I kind of felt bad for the little guy because I had to run away inside and he tried to get me, but he was too slow. Now is when I am picking to move Whitney's house up to that area that I had showed you earlier. So we're going to go ahead and talk to her, move this thing back there. Oh, she's so cute, but she's more of like a winter, a winter, what is she, a wolf? A winter wolf. I want to say a winter fox, but I don't think she's a fox. Now, I'm gonna preface this part by saying I don't recommend how I'm putting this path down. It's very weird and might be confusing to watch because I've said this in videos before, but I like to put the outside of the path down first and try to put every little section that I'm gonna use, like say I have a corner piece to go around the whole area that I'm gonna put a path, and put that corner piece down everywhere it's going to be. And this is one of the parts of doing this that I realize how weird it is that I do this. And how not saving time it is. So feel free to fast forward through the path part. The only reason I'm leaving it in here is because I know some people like to watch um, how people lay their paths down. So I figured I'd keep it in here. But... Yeah, just know that I know that the way I put this path down is very weird, and I'm sorry. But no, I'm probably not going to change the way I do it. I only showed this one for a second, but it was a trench coat in that present. So poor Maple in this little part, she comes to tell me something probably super important, probably teach me a new reaction or tell me something cool. And she literally says, I have something to tell you. Oh, it, it's gone because I distracted her and now we'll never know what she wanted to tell me.
So here we are the next couple days and um, you can see some of these trees have grown. The tree down at the bottom did not. I do end up moving some things around. Again, you'll see it skip in just a second here where some things are moved around and changed. Um, you can also see right there that I have the incline set up and ready to go. And I'm just now realizing editing this that both of these inclines, like this one right here that you can see on the screen now, and this one back here are different colors, and it kind of bothers me, but I'm just going to choose to ignore it. Uh, but there you can see that we had a little jump into the future where I now decided to put the moon back here. I really wanted something in the background to take up some space. I couldn't get the trees close enough together where it looked right. I just didn't have enough room. So I think the moon back there looks really awesome, especially later in some of these clips, like the outro clip that I do, the moon's behind me, it looks really cool. So what I'm doing right now, I actually did a different day. So if you see some of the end clips that are at nighttime that I filmed where you don't see any of these mushrooms that I'm placing down or some of the things that I'm changing, that's because I filmed it before I added all this stuff at the end. So it might not be in some of these clips that I show at the end of the video. Well, that is everything, so please enjoy some of these scenery clips. Well, guys, that is actually, hold on. All right, that's better. Just a little more up close and personal. Um, if you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this build um, or this kind of style, please feel free to like and subscribe if you would like. I will have some more videos coming up shortly. And thank you so much for watching.